welcome to Brenda's Crafting. On today's video, we're going to make a Dollar Tree Lantern. These are all the woods you, that you will need for this project. You'll need four of the frames, as you can see. And I'm gonna be taking them apart. Um, you also need the two wood planks. Uh, and then you will also need a glue gun. And you're gonna need at least about three to four glue sticks, because I went through a lot. And now I'm just taking the frames apart and you'll also take out the little pegs and all the little accessories. So here we go. I was so excited when I found these wood frames at the Dollar Tree because I knew I wanted to make a lantern. It's been on my wish list for over a year now to make a lantern and I haven't done it and this is my first attempt. So when I saw these wood pieces, I just knew I can't wait to make one. And I wanted to make sure it was a tall one. So I, I'm just so excited that this turned out so super cute. Um, so when you do glue, glue uh, a little at a time. Don't, don't get too in a rush because the glue does dry really fast. You should use a, a little bit of wood glue, which I didn't do. Uh, but I did use Gorilla Glue in it, so it's a pretty strong, durable glue. And I was just trying to hold it together. You should use clamps probably, but I didn't use any. But it turned out so super cute. I cannot wait to show you how great this turns out. I mean, it's this it's nice wood. It does have a gloss on it, so I end up sanding it. But it just turned out so super nice. I can't wait to show you. Okay, here I used extra glue just to inside and I kept replacing my glue as I went because I, I, I know just gluing this together, I went through like two glue sticks um, because I just wanted to make sure it was just glued on really, really tight. And I went back and I went through the seals and in the inside and then on the top, I made sure I, you know, turned it upside down and I double glued it and just, I really, did glue it a lot so I used a lot of glue and it came together really nicely um, this project took two days to do because I was in the garage it was super hot I do live in Texas it's not uh, very friendly in the garage because it's very hot and I had the fan blowing like crazy and I had to turn down the volume just so you can hear me talk but here's the second day as you can see and this is a Dollar Tree item, and I just wanted to, I wanted a small enough square to to top it off, and I knew I needed to paint it. I did a haul before this, and so I was like, I'll do that another day. It's just super hot in my garage, but. So basically, I just scored it on each side, and then it just bent right off. And then I just sanded it down just to make it smooth. And then that, now I'm going to be uh, just placing it, deciding how I want to do it. And then I'm going to be painting it here in just a second. I did decide to go with a book ring. Um, so that's what I chose to do for my topper. And all I did was take the book ring and I took some jute twine and I uh, twirled it around. Uh, but right now I'm going to be painting it and then you'll see me do the, the ring here in a little bit. Okay, I did paint my uh, lantern white, and now since it's all kind of white, I kind of would like to add maybe just maybe a little bronze or maybe even just a little bit of gold or something to it because I realize now it's a little bit too white. So maybe at a later date, I will go back and add to it, but I did keep it white for this video. Um, but I might go back and add a little bit of bronze just to give it a little bit more distinguish on, I mean, it's so, the shape of it is so pretty. It feels like it, it, the details need to stand out a little bit more and the white just made it blend in so much, but it did turn out so super cute. I really, I am really happy with it because I love this wood look and I feel like I kind of covered up the how pretty the wood was um, but it made it blend in so much better and it gave it more of a farmhouse feel so 
Um, if I was going to go back, I would either add gray. So as you can see, I did sand it because it was glossy and it helped the paint stick better. And then now you, I'm taking the jute twine and I'm wrapping the ring uh, to make that for the topper. And I'm just adding the glue and here it comes. It's going to be the topper of the ring. I was trying to also get off some of the loose strings. So um, I'm just adding some extra glue. And you can see I added an LED light. Um, I did end up painting the, the LED light white. Um, when, so, but when it turns on, it has that yellow glow to it. So, it looks really cute because even though it ha I added paint to the candle, it has that little bit of a yellow glow to it. So, it's really nice. It makes it look like fall. And then I'm just adding some boxwood greenery. And then if you want to, you could always change it for the seasons and change it for fall. But look, this is all Dollar Tree stuff right here. And it turned out so super cute. Like I said, it has that yellow glow to it. Even though I painted the candle white. has that yellow glow. And it looks super cute. It's a farmhouse look. I love it. Y'all have a good day. God bless.